Hello again everybody! Welcome to this video. Today we're talking about how to achieve a half decent guitar to bass effect or a bass tone using your guitar. Um, so I'm just going to talk you through my setup first of all. I've, I'm using a Gibson SG um, and it's going to be going into this Boss Katana. It's just a plain clean tone that I'm going to be playing through. So any any uh, manipulation of the tone and effects is just going to be whatever we set up um, using our input effects on the Boss RC600. So, uh, I, first of all, I'm not going to take credit for this. This is something that somebody else has come up with on the on the Boss um, RC600 Facebook page, Facebook group. Um, so I'm certainly not going to be taking credit for this. But what they've done is they've they've assigned um, a transpose effect together with a preamp effect and then manipulate a few a few of the the sounds there to create something that actually sounds quite good so you if you're familiar with the rc600 you'll know that we've got options to achieve um a bass tone or a bass effect using our guitar and that is the g2b which is guitar to bass um we've got an octave option as well we've got transpose etc have a play around with those with those different input effects and see what you can come up with but ultimately the guitar to bass isn't that good in fact it's pretty pretty terrible there's lots of sort of warbly overtones and nastiness around there the same goes for the octave um, effect although that's not quite it's not bassy enough for me anyway but if you actually have a look at the transpose uh, effect and then pair that with the preamp which is what we're going to do today you can achieve something that's not too bad really so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set you up on a little tripod and then i'll go through each of the, the these ones that i've already set up so we'll have a listen to the guitar to bass we'll listen to the octave we'll listen to the transpose on its own and then i'll show you how to assign one pedal to turn on two of the effects so we're going to turn on the transpose and the preamp together using one pedal um, and then you'll hear what that sounds right, like. Right, so I've just got my SG running into the um, into the Katana, and then I've got my Katana effect sleeve going into the RC600. So that's how it's, you're gonna be hearing all the sounds coming through the Katana amp. And that's just a plain clean tone that I've got set up at the moment. Uh, on my SG, I've got my neck pickup selected and a little bit of the top end rolled off slightly. And then what I'm going to do is I'll just I'll just turn on and off the guitar to bass, so you can hear. I'm just going to play something, so you can hear. So you can probably hear there. It's not too great, is it? That guitar to bass tone. That's without. tone that we can hear at the top. There's the octave. It's a little bit more bearable but still not great. It's not what we're after really when we want to achieve a decent bass tone. So we're going to put the transpose on. It's a little bit more bassy now isn't it? But again it's missing ultimately what we want which is to achieve a nice bass tone. So what we can do is we can have the transpose on with a preamp. Um, so I'm going to talk you through now the settings that we've, we've set up uh, on the preamp settings. Um, but this is this is ultimately going to be, it's going to depend on what guitar you're using. It's going to depend on, depend on a lot of different factors really. It's going to depend on what guitar you're using what you're running it through, you know, various other things. If you're going through a PA, if you're going through a guitar amp, etc. So you're going to have to have a play around with it yourself. But I'll just talk you through the way that I've set things up, which is similar to the to the way that the um, the person that actually came up with this idea has set it up. Um, but I've just changed a, a couple of little things to suit. Okay, first of all, you want to go to loop twice and you go to your input effects. And my effect C was the transpose. So... Obviously, with transpose, you're going to have to come down 12, because obviously that's the full octave there. I'm on mode 2, but have a play with it and see which mode you prefer. I think mode 2 is better for me. And then with the preamp, we're going to change a few of these settings. Sorry if it's not focusing, it's quite bright in this room. 
So obviously we've selected the preamp, we've gone for a, the amp type is natural clean, and then the speaker type is an 8x12, you're going to get much more of a full sound, much more bottom end through that. Um, my gain is up to 30, you can obviously go a little bit higher if you wish with that one. I've got no compression, we've got the bass up to 75, nothing in the middle and about 20 up with the treble if you can see that. Um, the way that the person that came up with this idea, they just didn't have any treble at all. So it's sort of whatever you want, if you want any, any sort of sparkle at the top end, you might want to put some treble on. And then uh, my presence is set to 20. I'm using a mic type of the CND87, although I think I did like which one? I think it was the dynamic, uh, the 421 as well, that was all right. To be honest, the, the, there's not much in it really, but it's, it's it's personal preference. I think that one was the better one after I had a play around. And then you can adjust the mic position as well. So if you want that mic position to be a few centimeters off the center, I've just left it on the center. And then the effect level is ultimately how much of that preamp you want to come through. So I've just gone for 50. If you want more, then obviously you're going to crank that level up. And then that is everything. And then what we've done, or what I've done as well, is I've made sure that when I turn on my transpose, see at the moment it's just transpose that's coming on, but obviously I want this pedal to turn on my preamp. So if you don't know how to do that, we're gonna use one of the assigns. I'll also leave a link into in the description below for some other videos that I've made if you want to go and check them out. And um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna add an assign we press menu twice, we go to the assigns. I'm just gonna choose assign number one and turn it on. So I'm gonna use pedal three, which is one, two, three, this one. And I'm on mode three, because that's where my effects turn on and off. I'm gonna make sure it's set to toggle, leave that as it is, come across, and I want to turn on input effect bank A, which is the first bank where all our effects are that we're talking about today, and it's it's effect D, which is the fourth one along. So I select bank A, D. So it's input effect A, D. And I just leave it there, come out of that. So now when I press my pedal three, you'll see both my transpose and preamp light up. There we go. So it's turning both of those on now. Okay, so first up, we've got the, the playing tone that we had before. So that's no effect, just the guitar going through the amp. Have a listen to this one. This is the one we've just set up. So it sounds a lot more like the tone that we're after if we want a decent guitar to bass. So it's up to you, have a play around with the different um, settings in that preamp effect to, to come up with whatever's going to be most, you know, the better, town, better tone or better sound for you. But ultimately, I think that option there, having both the transpose and the preamp together is much nicer than having either an octave or a guitar to bass or just a transpose feature on its own. Right, everybody. Thanks very much for watching again, and I'll see you all in the next one. Do consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. We've got lots of cool content with the RC600, and I will see you all again. Take care. Bye-bye. Ta-ta.